What is the forecast for the rest of 22 in the housing market? Well, realtor.com has forecasted for the rest of 22, and I think this image is a good one. It is the 2022 forecast update on inventory. And what it shows us is that at the beginning of the year, realtor.com projected that we would have a 0.3% increase in inventory. So that was very small. And they have reforecasted for the rest of the year a 15% increase in inventory. A lot of that largely has to do with the softening or the slowing in the pace of sales and the uptick in new listings. So more inventory coming to the market. They're seeing more in the projections. So that's going to create more options for buyers. So just wanted to get this information out to you if you're thinking of buying a home. And now that we know what this means, we should start to see less competition. And I wanted to share this little um, excerpt from Mark Fleming, who's a chief economist. We should start to see less competition and fewer bidding wars and therefore less upward price pressure. In fact, a simple analysis shows that a one month increase in the month's supply results in a 3% decline in annualized house price growth. And our preliminary house price index is already showing moderation in the house prices since April. So let's just talk about that for a moment. Um, so a one month increase shows a 3% decline in annualized house prices. So what we're seeing with this is a softening in demand, more new listings, a slower pace and sales and more inventory available. And when there's more inventory available, the tug between buyer demand and supply lessens. And that means a less upward pressure on prices. So prices are still projected to increase just at a more moderate rate. And that's already what we're starting to see. Prices are still ticking up, but at a slow, slower, more moderate pace. So we're going to see an increase in prices, no doubt. Supply is low, but what we're seeing is a lessening in the price pressure. So if you're thinking of buying, my son, um, Rob, or I would be more than happy to sit with you, go over the process, and help you get started. So thanks for watching, and talk to you later.